Flashback! Hi, I am a model, so I have to watch my figure, like all models. I can't always stick my finger down my throat, so I try to eat right. That's why I have a hot bowl of Naomi Campbell soup. Mmm, mmm, uh-oh. I'm having a reaction. Excuse me. Mm, mm, good. Naomi Campbell soup. Tastes as good coming up as it does going down. <laughs> My kids play hard. So I make sure they get the boost they need to keep them going all day long with new Sugar Sugar. Sugar Sugar. Sugar Sugar is pure natural sugar. No additives or preservatives they don't need. Just 100% energy. And as a mother, (laughs) I like that. Hey, I love new sugar sugar. Mom says we can have it any time. So what do you want to do, Billy? Want to play some baseball, climb a tree, swim a couple of miles, maybe have some basketball, a racquetball, and play some wrestling? (laughs) Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's go. 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 let us go 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 Thanks to Sugar Sugar. There's never a dull moment around here. Sugar Sugar. Sugar Sugar. From the makers of Honey Honey. Honey Honey. Oh no, we're out of Sugar Sugar. Oh my god. Oh no. I got acid. I got acid. Tonight, journey with us as National Geographic stalks the pathetic American boar. Hi, how you doing? Not bad. How you doing? Okay. So what's new? Nothing. What's new with you? Nothing. Discover the wonder of the pathetic American boar as we take you into their truly pathetic world. So we completely ran out of the Jimmy Roll. Uh Uh-huh. So I replaced it with flat goose finish. Uh Uh-huh. And I swear you can't tell the difference. Uh Uh-huh. Isn't that great? Uh Uh-huh. No one is sure why these people act the way they do. But we're fairly certain no one wants to date them. Hi. Hot enough for you? The Pathetic American Boar on National Geographic. Come here. Come on. Let me show you my stuffed squirrel collection. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, you know me and stuff. I was working down the hall, right? And so I have this theory, because I heard you talking and stuff, about why... Uh, Sports figures are always in trouble, okay? Because, see, if you like sports, you probably don't dance. And I always liked dancing, so I never, I, was, I wasn't smart or anything, but um, I used to be into dressing up and everything, and I still like really cute clothes and stuff, but now it's because I like boys. But when you're a little kid, you, you like things that are glittery, and then you get older and you like different kinds of colors and different kinds of foods and different kinds of places to go, but always... You always keep in mind, if you want to, sometimes people like wood floors, sometimes people like carpets, you know what I mean? And, like, sometimes you say, oh, I think I want to change things around. But other people, like, your it's the same ashtray that my grandma had in the room, and then when she died, like, who cares? All the relatives just split everything up anyway, you know? But, you know, it's like the, the speakers used to be bigger ones, now they're littler ones, or glasses, you know? It's like, should I keep them, or should I give them to the Goodwill, or Salvation Army? Are they the real thing? or what color light bulbs should I have those pink ones in the bedroom or long life or you know whichever kind or whatever you know but sometimes I still think that there's the same reason why sports figures are always getting in trouble okay bye if you're a man between the ages of 18 and 96 here's important information you should know When left unattended, toenails can seriously injure your bed partner. Many men go months and months without cutting their toenails, leading to serious lacerations that can require hospital treatment. If you have rock-hard, razor-sharp toenails, get Gold Balm Ointment. It softens toenails so they bend instead of puncture. Gold Balm Ointment saves wear and tear on socks, shoes, and sheets, too. Try our simple test. If you can open our canister of Gold Balm Ointment with your toenails, then you need it. Gold Balm Ointment. It saves lives. Damn this traffic jam. 
How I hate to be late. It hurts my motor to go so slow. When you're in the fast lane and people whip in front of you like they're in a big hurry and then they just go real slow. I hate that. It drives me crazy. Changing lanes without signal. People who always turn their signal on always forget to turn it off. When women are putting on makeup in the car and trying to drive. Now I almost had a heart attack looking in my rear view mirror. I saw myself the next car back looking in the rear view mirror. About to have a heart attack. They don't know how to switch lanes, they don't signal, they, they pull in front of you or they drive too slow. People who cut you off and are not courteous enough to let you in. Traffic in general start to get over and then the other guy speeds up. When they get to the light, it changes and they don't move. I want to run right into them. Now when I die, I don't want no coffin. I thought about it all too often. Just strap me in behind the wheel and bury me with my automobile. People honking the horns when the light turns green. People on a car phone. Having to wait. When they break for no reason reason at all People cut you off incompetent drivers damn this traffic jam how i hate to be late it hurts my motor to go so slow damn this traffic jam now i get home my sub will be cold damn this traffic jam people coming up really fast behind you and then tailgating you people that drive slow being rear-ended by the person behind me who didn't see me slow down i've been hit like five times in the last month my mom hit my car too i don't live here i'm you just visiting now, i used to think that i was cool running around on fossil fuel until I saw what I was doing was driving down the road to ruin. Oh, I think they just need to learn some common manners. Hi, hello, it's me, Jexy. <laughs> okay, here's another special public service announcement. <laughs> okay, here goes. <laughs> okay, if you accidentally hurt yourself, call someone or yell real loud or ask for first aid or call 911 or go to the hospital or get help. Okay. I always thought about that, like, um, when, when I grew up, like, mom would throw us a peanut butter jelly sandwich and sit us in front of the Andy Griffith show, you know, and you get protein and morals in a half hour. <laughs> and, uh, TV can be good. And uh, that's all I want is, like, the show to be, you know, just have, like, little spurts of things that are kind of real in it. <laughs> Didn't you ever do that, like, you're watching the Brady Bunch? Didn't you ever want Mr. Brady just to kick open the maid's door with his shirt tail hanging out and a bottle of whiskey in one hand going, come on, Alice, I think it's more than just a hunch. Don't miss the next exciting episode of Waiting Room. Real life drama in real life doctor's offices with real life doctors and real life patients really waiting. Okay, if you could just take off your clothes and sit on that cold table over there and wait. It's action. Okay, if you could just fill out these insurance forms and wait. Waiting room. All right, would you like to follow me? You can just stand in this room and wait. Waiting room. Hello, I'm still waiting. Waiting room. You'll feel like you're really there. Oh, God, what a, what a dumb thing to say, right? I mean, you say it, you play well, and then right away, I have to say you play well. Oh, oh, God. I don't, I don't, I, jeez, I don't know. I, I wasn't, it's, it's, but it's your, yeah. Oh, well, la-di-da, la-di-da, la-la, yeah.